Hey YouTubers and RV fans, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to talk about my GoPro issue and thanks to Life and Serenity. Alright YouTubers, so and RVers, when I first started my channel back last year, no, back in 2015, um, I spent a lot of time exploring the type of camera I wanted to begin my channel. Um, I was brand new to this, had no clue about camcorders or any type of um, action cameras or anything. And so, after a while, I settled on um, the GoPro. I thought the GoPro would be the best um, option for me. I wasn't certain how my channel was going to turn out, whether I was going to be a daily vlogger, or whether I was just going to, you know, um, capture images of my RV life. I really didn't know what I was going to do. So after a long period of time, I finally settled on purchasing a GoPro. Now that was very difficult because a GoPro is hugely expensive. And for those of you who purchase camcorders, action cameras, you know that it's very expensive. And, um, you know, putting that much investment into purchasing a camera after you buy an RV, where you're spending a lot of money on your RV, can be a real challenge. But I, I saved the money together. I bought myself a, Gro a GoPro Hero LCD. Okay, now I did a lot of homework on this, and so I thought it was the best option for me and for my channel. And I think a lot of YouTubers will understand that your camera is really very important. In any event, um, I did a, a video on my Oxygenic shower head, and after I finished videotaping that whole process, the camera died. I mean, it just died. Now, the camera didn't get wet, you know, it didn't get thumped or bumped or. Um, walked on or anything it just died and so I thought well you know maybe there's something I'm not doing so I played around with it a little bit and I called GoPro customer service well GoPro customer service absolutely did nothing um, you know when I asked them I said is there any type of reset I can do on it you know and they said yes push the start button and the shutter button together and hold it down for one minute I'm like okay I can do that but the camera's dead so holding those buttons down, if that's going to do a hard reset then, and, it, and it will turn back on, then I'm happy to do it. Nothing happened. And of course, I, I spent an hour on the phone with support, uh, with customer service and with support, to get nowhere. Uh, I talked about warranties. I talked about options in terms of how I can you know, send this into GoPro. And they said they would send me an email and I could send it in. But the reality of it was is that if it's not functioning, that I would need to replace it. I would need to replace it. I said, well, you know, I bought the camera 15 months ago. You know, I bought it from Best Buy, um, and I have the receipts. And so, you know, GoPro really needs to make good on this. And he said, well, you should have bought the extended warranty. And I said, well, you know, yeah, I probably should have bought the extended warranty, but who thinks that their GoPro camera that they spent over $400 on, between the camera and accessories and everything else, is going to break after 15 months? I mean, of just normal wear and tear and normal use. Well, anyway, GoPro customer support was not helpful at all. But here's the interesting thing. Over the course of that period of time, it was just before Christmas, and I was watching some of my favorite GoPro YouTubers to see if anybody had any suggestions for um, fixing my GoPro. Interestingly enough, um, these high-end YouTubers were getting these Seeker backpacks from GoPro. And inside the Seeker backpack, it had a beautiful Hero 5. It had all kinds of accessories. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe this. I guess you have to be a high-end YouTuber to get any response out of GoPro. You know, granted, GoPro is a big company, but at the same time, they need to be cognizant of what's going on with their, um, maybe with their smaller customers, maybe with their customers that don't have these big, huge YouTube channels, but, you know, and work hard to save their money so that they can buy a camera. Only to have the camera break down within 15 months and have literally no support from GoPro itself, I was pretty upset. So I know my YouTube channel is a small little rinky-dink RV channel, but at the end of the day, I use that GoPro to um, bring content to you, my subscribers. I'm not normally a ranter on video, and I'm not. And, and so I'm not even sure I'm gonna post this, but I need to get it off my chest. Anyway, after I posted the video about my GoPro breaking down, um, just before Christmas, Life and Serenity, Rob and Lisa, my friends that I've had since I've actually started this RV journey, 
uh, called me on the phone and said, hey, we have an extra Handycam Sony 60X if you would like it. And I said, no, 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 thank you so much. I mean, you know, I appreciate it, but they insisted. And so I want to say thank you to Rob and Lisa for their kindness. Uh, I'm actually videoing on that camera now, and I just received it yesterday. So, Rob and Lisa, you guys are awesome. And for my subscribers, if you haven't checked out the Life and Serenity YouTube channel yet, I've put a link down in the description. Please check them out. They're a great couple from Canada that I've been friends with since they were in their sticks and bricks, and they've been now on the road for a few months. Uh, great couple. Check out their channel. I think you'll like them a lot. Let me finish this video out because I'm not really a ranter, but at the end of the day, um, GoPro needs a wake-up call. So hopefully they get this wake-up call, they see this video, and hopefully they call me on the phone and say, I'm sorry. You know, our customer service can do a better job. All right, I'm done with that. So this is my GoPro Hero and LCD. This is the camera I bought. And if you'll look right here is a little gray um, circular area. Now, originally I thought that was a light, and I thought it lit up when the camera was plugged in because the plug is right here. Well, you would think that GoPro customer support would tell me that there was a reset button on the camera. They didn't. So as a result, I didn't know that that button was an actual button. I thought it was a light. And I think if I can get it up a little bit closer, maybe you can see it. But I thought it was a light. Anyway, I felt I pushed on it and I felt that it, it actually moved. And so I got a pen and I pushed it. And when I pushed it, I heard a little beep beep. And lo and behold, a miracle happened. The camera worked. I can't believe it. So my GoPro actually is working. Surprise, surprise. In any event, GoPro customer support was no help. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you again to Rob and Lisa. You guys are awesome. I hope everybody has a happy new year.